Hi guys, so Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, was um, delivering a speech on Monday about winning back support for the Labour Party in Scotland. Now he talked about devolution, he talked about many issues, but here he was taking calls, he was taking questions from the media. And this particular question was about in extending the Brexit transition period to deal with the chaos at the borders at the moment. Now the journalist is going to ask if Keir Starmer will support it or not. Let's hear what he had to say. Hey. Morning, Sir Keir. Um, if I can ask you a question quickly about the COVID crisis. Um, given what you've just said, do you think Parliament should now be recalled and should the Prime Minister be open to extending the transition period to focus on coronavirus? Um, and on your speech, we've heard Labour talking about devolution for years now. And one of the lessons has been that devolution is easy when devolved leaders and national leaders agree. Are you prepared to take decisions which would potentially be difficult for Westminster, which would give devolved leaders the powers to make life uncomfortable for Westminster? And ultimately, if you are, should it not be for the Scottish Parliament to decide on whether there's another independence referendum? Uh, Nick, on COVID, um, I, I do think there's a case you know, to look at whether we should recall Parliament. But I think in a sense, more important than that is that the Prime Minister um, addresses the nation after the COBRA meeting and does so on a daily basis um, whilst we go through this crisis because people need to know what decisions are being made and they need to see the way um, forward. On the transition, um, I say to the Prime Minister, get the deal you promised. Um, get that deal over the line today or tomorrow. Don't delay. People... Um, were promised a deal uh, and you must deliver on that deal. Now, <laughs> he didn't ask, he didn't really answer the question. He talked about get Boris Johnson getting a deal. He dodged the question in a sense. So the question was, would you support extending the transition period? Would you support a vote in Parliament, perhaps, you know, presented by maybe another party or your party to force Boris Johnson to extend the transition period? Why did he not say yes or why did he not say no here? I think he's afraid that if, he's, if he were to support it, then he would be attacked by the Brexiteers within his party and Brexiteers in the Conservative Party and Boris Johnson, of course, as uh, from the point of view that you, you never truly believed in democracy. You, you're, um, you're just using this as uh, another mechanism to stop Brexit. This is just another way to stop Brexit. You don't care about the British people. You just care about, you know, scoring uh, political points here. You never truly believed in democracy or all that sort of rubbish. Now, if he were to say, no, I don't support uh, an extension, um, then he would be complicit in the damage that's taking place. Because if he doesn't support an extension, then he, by definition, or by extension, I should say, um, supports the chaos, supports Boris Johnson, allows Boris Johnson to get off the hook. So once again, we're seeing uh, Keir Starmer, you know, being very <laughs> cool and calculated with his answers. And I think, personally, I think Boris Johnson should ask for an extension. He definitely needs to ask for an extension. This disaster partly is related to Brexit, of course, because trucks are piling up on both sides of the border because of stockpiling. Stockpiling that has been in place has been happening over the last, last number of weeks because of Brexit. Companies don't know what the hell is going on. They don't know if there's going to be a deal, if there's not going to be a deal. They have been ordering in extra stock so that they can remain operational. Stores are preparing for Bre for Christmas and for Brexit. So an extension to the transition period would give the UK a bit of breathing space. Say, so let's move Brexit out of the picture for a moment. Let's deal with it later on. At least we can deal with this crisis we have at the moment. So once again, I think if, if I was in, um, if it was me, I would say, yes, ask for an extension. But I understand 
from a political point of view, Keir Starmer has to be very careful because if he says, yes, let's ask for an extension, he'd be criticised by Brexiteers. If he says nothing, if he says no, I'm not supporting an extension, then he's going to be criticised by the British public for not allowing the UK the breathing space it requires. Now, not answering the question doesn't help his situation either because it comes across as indifference. And I don't think he's indifferent to this. I understand personally he would probably prefer an extension to the transition period. But politically he can't call for it because it would be damaging. So what are the what what is what is actually going to happen? Is Boris Johnson going to ask for an extension? I don't think so. Boris Johnson doesn't care about the British people. He doesn't care about businesses. He if he truly did care, he would have asked for an extension back in June or July. He knew the the virus was rum, running rampant back then. There was an opportunity to extend the transition period and he has the power politically. He doesn't you know, he's not going to be struggling in Parliament to get the votes necessary. The Labour Party would support it. Keir Starmer is not saying so at the moment because he wants to wait for Boris Johnson to take the, the next step. So if Boris Johnson does actually, which I don't think is going to happen, but if Boris Johnson were to say, look, um, we can't handle this, we need to ask for an extension, will you support us, Keir Starmer? Keir Starmer would say yes. But Boris Johnson isn't going to do that. He doesn't care, as I said, he's going to drive forward. Unless some new dramatic situation occurs on the border. Um, but we're still a few days away from the end of the transition period. If instead this chaos took place at the end, for, you know, further on in, in this month towards the end of the transition period, a few days before the end of the transition period, it could be possible that he would ask for an extension. But I think the more likely case is that the UK is going to crash out without a deal and they will work towards some sort of agreement after the end of the transition period. So yes, in the first at the beginning of January, the UK will have will be out without a deal. You're going to see the chaos at the border pretty much similar to what's happening at the moment. People will be angry, rightly so, but um, both the EU and the UK will start working towards some sort of agreement after that. Because, of course, the European Union have requested the time necessary for the European Commission, the, the, the member states, to scrutinise any deal. So you, if, if Boris Johnson gets a deal, they need time to scrutinise it. They need to understand what's in this deal. How's it, how does it affect us? How does it affect the UK? What is the relationship going forward? And the UK government need to, uh, to scrutinise it as well. And the UK Parliament, of course. So I understand Keir Starmer's avoidance of the question, but at the end of the day, I think he would support an extension personally. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think he would do. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?